Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another colorful tutorials for these cute little spring flowers. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell in this way you won't miss these absolutely free upcoming videos and you will be inspired often. Check description for useful resources like my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Also full list of materials and other similar tutorials like this. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is an amazing support and you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 o seed beads and I use black, light green, green, light pink, dark pink and a red. You could use others of your choice. These are earring findings in golden color. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or so 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice similar size. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. Now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up for a star. 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot, make a loop, go twice through the loop you've made, pull and then make one more knot and pull again. Okay guys, now I have this beautiful shape here. And what I'm going to do next is go through two beads in this direction. And I'm going to take two light green beads and I will go back through these two that I've just been through. And I'm going to pull. You see now I have a loop between these two black beads and the newly added two light green beads. Then I go here in the next two black beads. I take two light green beads and I go back in circle through these two black beads just like this and I pull and I'm going to repeat this go through two and add two backwards and in circle and now if you want to save time you could go through four beads in this direction in this way you save one movement because now you are in a position to add the next two light green beads okay and i take two Go through four and I will repeat this until the end. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, guys, what I want to do is to go in the following green bead. And I'm going to pick up the following sequence. One dark green bead, two light pink bead, two dark pink bead, three red beads, two dark pink beads, two light pink beads and a dark green. And now as I'm exiting from this light green, I go in the other light green bead and I pull. And I'm going to take just one black bead and I go in the next green. 
and I take the following sequence and as I'm exiting through one of the light greens I go in the other one then I take just one black and I go in the next green bead okay I take the same sequence and I go in the next green one and again I need a black one okay guys and I'm going to continue this at this sequence here at one black and I will meet you here at the end okay and I'm here where I need to add my last black bead from this row okay now you see what I have and in my next step guys you see this loop of, of beads that I just added I want to go through the green and through the first pink bead here you see where I'm going green and light pink okay now this is what I have and I'm taking a black a light pink and a black and I go here in this light pink which is next to the green so in the same place symmetrically and I pull okay I will pull a little bit to the center and now this is what I have then I take two red beads and pay attention I want to go in this loop but first I'm going to flip it in this direction because it wants to flip in the other direction now here what I want to do is to go through the first pink bead counting from the center so the pink bead which is after the green one and I'm going to pull like this don't worry that it bends and moves so this stage will fix it later and I take a black a pink and a black and I go in the same place through this pink bead which is next to the green the first pink when you count from the center okay it is absolutely the same thing that we had here then two red beads and now flip this thing don't go like this because it won't work flip it and go through the first pink with two reds on your needle the same sequence black light pink and black and go in the same place through this first pink which is next to the green okay then again two red beads and flip this one go in this pink here like this and continue pink black pink two reds and flip and if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video from here and repeat this part one more time from here and I'll meet you at this side okay guys and here I am where I need to add my last two red beads from this row and I add them in the same place through the first pink bead then I want to go in this direction and exit out of the second pink dark pink bead counting from the center or I'm next to the red beads I take just one black bead and I go through the pink in the center here of my petal take another black and go back like this now I'm exiting out of 
the second light pink counting from the center. Two black beads and I go in the same place here through the second pink bead counting from the center. Then I go through the next two dark pink beads. One pink, uh, one black, sorry, and go through the pink. In this row, I'm going to be adding only black beads. Another black and go through these two dark pink beads from the outside to the center. Then in this light pink bead, take two and go here through these three next to the red ones. A black go in the central pink and I'm going from the outside to the center. Then I'm going from the center to the outside and backwards. Okay. Two black beads and go through three next to the red ones and each row I'm going to be showing three steps of it and the next three steps you will do by yourself or you will rewind the video and repeat them from here. Okay, I'll meet you at this side. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two black beads at the same place here. And what I want to do next is exit out of the first red bead. Take three red beads. By the way, if you like the flower like this, you could leave it at this stage, but I will add an additional row. So I take three and as I'm exiting from the first red one, I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. And I also go through the next two dark pink beads and I take two light green beads and I go in the next two dark pink beads and the red one and I pull. And then I take three red beads and go here in the same place after the dark pink beads, two greens, repeat the same thing, three reds and then again two green beads. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two light green beads from this row. And what I want to do next is add my next light green beads. And I go through them like this. Okay, now what I want to do is to take three dark green beads and as I'm exiting out of the light green I want to go back in circle through these two light green beads and then I went through some beads in this direction as you may see. Then I want to go here like this. And I want to reach the green part again. Take three dark greens and go back. Just like this.
I go through all of my beads because my goal is to reach these two white green beads. I take three dark green beads and I go back in circle through these two white greens. Okay, and I will do this three more times and I'll meet you. Okay, guys, and I have here my last three beads and I'm going back in circle like I did before. Then what I want to do next is go through all of those beads here and reach the one that is sticking out the most. And I'm going to take one black bead, my earring finding and one black bead and I'm going back in circle through this red one here. And I'm going to reinforce this joint. Then I will go here at the angle and I want to make a knot and cut my thread. First I make a loop, then I go once and I go second time through the loop I've made and I pull. You could repeat this knot several more times. When you're ready, go through the following one or two beads and cut your thread. Okay guys, and now my cute little flowers earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. And down there in description you will find a lot of useful resources like full list of materials and similar tutorials to this one and my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description. Thank you so much for staying here until the end. Now click on the link that you see on your screens and continue watching.